What's up guys, welcome back to Mortal Kombat X, let's continue. Player versus player ranked match, let's do it. Looking forward to it, I'm, uh, I've been practicing a new character, but if you looked at the title, then you know who I've been practicing, so... Not gonna, you know, keep you guys in suspense or anything, it's definitely Kung Jin. I don't know man, he might be my new main. It's really, really hard to decide, he's definitely a secondary. Faction this guy's definitely new. New player, new player. Not bad, not bad. Let's do it. Let's bring it. Liu Kang. There we go. Ninja Kung Jin. I like this variant because it's a lot more about rushing down the opponent than doing projectiles, but you can do projectiles if you want. If the opponent's not treating you too good, you can do projectiles. Nothing wrong with that. The guy's talking, I don't know what he's saying, but... You never Round one. Oh, I attacked this one right through him. Nice. That overhead, though. Woo! Oh, I dropped it. Uh oh. Someone's talking. Round two. Fight. Ooh. There we go. Finish him. Kill. That's the last black dragon faction kick. <laughs> like choked on the word kill. That's the last black dragon faction kill that I have, and I don't think I'll ever ever get the next one because you have to be a faction champion and contribute to the win. So, since Lin Kuei is 40% of people playing, I'll never ever have black dragon be the top, you know, champions. So, what I'm gonna have to do is probably switch a faction to like, uh, Brotherhood of Shadow or White Lotus to do more faction kills. So, I might switch to Brotherhood of Shadow. I mean, I think they have some pretty cool stuff, so I might do that. But uh, that was the last Black Dragon kill. I wanted to bring that in, and then I'll start doing Kung Jin stuff. I don't like Liu Kang, man. All they do is uppercut, and it does a lot of damage. It's not as bad as Injustice when you could combo off an uppercut, but it's still pretty bad. Like a jumping punch and then an uppercut does 20%. Everyone can do it. That's pretty ridiculous. And a lot of people jump just really carelessly, I don't know why. We'll do better combos this time. I was still trying to do a little bit of a warm up. And Liu Kang was kind of rushing me down a little bit, did not like it. If you guys want to know uh, why I had the red outfit, you can um, hit square to pick your outfit, then hit start to change the color. Or X to be the normal color, so I'll pick shadow with X and that'll be the black one. I like Kung Jin. I think he's a cool character. Again, someone's talking. I don't quite know what they're saying. Cause I turned down the TV a little bit so it doesn't pick up on the mic. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's saying. Dang it, okay, I got it. Oh, 
Nice. Uh oh. Ooh. Taking out the legs. Nice. Nice, uppercut. Oh man, he has another breaker. That's scary looking. Jeez. Kenji's mask though. I'm thinking after I do a few matched... I mean, what do you guys think? Who do you like more, Kunji or Aaron Black? Personally, Aaron Black's still my favorite character in the entire series. He's awesome. But, for me, my problem with him is I don't know enough mix-ups with him. And I think he's a little bit more limited combo-wise. Other than that, I think he has better projectiles than Kunjin. I think because he has the low sand grenade to combo. And he has a really good stab move. I think those are better. But I think Kung Jin's low to high mix-ups, his overhead to low mix-ups, you know, I think those are very, very good. And I think his potem uh, potential combos are just fantastic. So I'll do a, a combo tutorial on Kung Jin. I'll teach you guys some easy stuff. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. Do a few more matches, though. Faction battle. Uh, I'm starting to play ranked a little bit more. Player match is fun. I really do enjoy it. I was not, I was ranked 95. I have a screenshot to prove it. I was ranked 95 for one day. Came back after a few hours. I was ranked 500. So people play player match like crazy. So I started to do um a little bit of uh ranked match more. So hopefully you guys are enjoying ranked match more than player match. I like ranked match because also you don't have enough time to really adapt to your opponent. You have to just kind of, you know, quickly pick up something or, you know, drop out pretty much. Pick up how they play or get destroyed. And King Jin has a lot of versatility there. Oops. Nice. Ooh, that was cool. Oh man, charge. Nice. All right. Mess that up. Oh, there we go. Ooh. You make an exceptional punch. Round two. Fight. <laughs> I like Kung Jin. A lot of people don't like him. They're talking about how he's like, I don't know, like the first gay confirmed character or something like that. First of all, I don't even know if that's true. Secondly, why does that matter so much? Why does that detract from the character? If you don't like homosexuality, that's fine. If you like homosexuality, that's fine. I don't know why, you know, it's a big deal. But like, people would just always have to make something to like complain about or to like, I don't know. Complain about or argue about. Like like I said, you don't even know if Kung Jin's actually a gay character. All he does is say something in story mode, like, it doesn't matter who your heart belongs to, or something like that. And th he never, like, openly says he's gay, so I don't know why everyone's making a big deal about it. Like I said, the, the online community is really weird, man. So if you pick Kung Jin because you like his combos, people are going to hate you for it. They're like, oh, you only picked him because he's gay. It's like, okay, what's that even like? <laughs> Whatever, man. It's not a big deal. You can like girls and you can play Kung Jin. It's not a big deal. But like I said, guys, that's just something I learned, so... If you're not ready for that, then maybe you don't play Kung Jin. Well, maybe wait for it to be more confirmed as to what he really is. 
just giving you guys a heads up. I had it, I was, people were like, I was in King of the Hill yesterday, and people were like, uh, I don't know, they were just saying all this negative stuff. That's the reason I don't like King of the Hill, it's really, really yeah, weird. Sure. People go there to boost their record, like who? <laughs> they get like two friends that are decent, that can beat everyone else in the lobby, but lose purposely to them. And it's really, really scumbaggy. Try this costume for once. I was thinking of playing Ethereal Melina, but I decided just to stick with Kung Jin for right now. I'm probably going to branch off him later on if I don't learn enough mix up with him. He has quite a few, but people, when they start to catch on and it starts to get a little bit more difficult, that's when you need to pick a character that can teleport. Scorpion's so insane in this game, man. It's retarded. He has like infinite teleports and crap. Like, why would they give him that? All of his teleports are pretty much safe from what I've seen. If you block him, he like bounces you back just enough so you can't really punish him. Or he recovers too fast. All of his moves have like priority. His ninjutsu is like just a juggle. And his minion spec. I, I don't think it's Hellfire, it's the other one. He can just keep spamming you. It's really dumb. Oh, whoops. Missed that one up. Oh, whoa. Kung Jin, he's the man. Did you at least try? Man with the plan. Round two. Fight. Ooh. That was a that was a clean match right there. Kung Jin wins. That was a flawless. Oh, give me that Kung Jin doing those combos like there's no tomorrow. We'll do one more match and then we'll uh, end the video there. So was that five games? Or was that four? I think that's the fourth game. Whoo! I've lost one ranked match, and I think I have 40-some played. Most of them with Aaron Black, but uh, just these with Kung Jin. He, I don't know, man. You should try him out. Definitely try him out. And I'll give, uh, I'll do a tutorial video later on, like I said. I'm still working on that poll for the third character. Uh, anyone you really want. I just put a few characters' names there, but just put in the comments or put in the poll, actually, so I can check that. But I'll check the comments too, I promise you that. They'll be way in if you don't see the poll. I'll put it in the description, like I said in the last video. But, you, like I said, you can just put it in comments too. Either way is fine. Alright, let's do it. You guys will be seeing a lot more Kung Jin. Maybe not a whole lot, but he's definitely replaced Goro. Goro's good, but I don't know a lot of combos with him. He doesn't have very good mix-ups, in my opinion. Inferno specs kind of annoying. There are so many Scorpion players, man. I know he's Ed Boon's favorite character, and I know he's really good, but there are other characters on the roster that you can try. If you like Scorpion, that's cool. Scorpion. Prepare yourself. Got an arrow with your name on it. There we go. One. Fight. <laughs> Just another flawless right there. Even that pressure. It's nightmarish. Oh. There's the Scorpion trademark. Ooh.
Oh, that was a new combo I was just about to try. I want to try to get that brutality. I think it's right here. Oh, I didn't get it. Boop. GG, dude. So guys, um, that's the first video with King Jin I uploaded. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'll be doing a tutorial like I said. So yeah, guys, if you liked it, please leave a comment, uh, subscribe, and leave a thumbs up. I'm new. I'm still kind of new to this whole, you know, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. But thank you guys very much for tuning in. It does mean a lot to me, so I appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.